extra entity which is the reader's which is the reader's thyroiditis okay so in reader's thyroiditis you need to understand you need to know that the thyroid gland is totally fibrosed so there is fibrosis there is fibrosis of the thyroid gland and the fibrosis is so much that the fibrosis starts encroaching upon the surrounding structures like it involves starting it starts involving the trachea it starts involving the airways so fibrosis dheere dheere extend ho raha hai it extends into the surrounding structures as well okay so that yes it is associated with a very important mcq it is associated with ig g4 related diseases igg4 related diseases like retro peritoneal fibrosis and mediastinal fibrosis okay it's a very important mcq and about this igg4 related diseases what are that we will deal in detail when we will talk about the immunology chapter then i'll tell you but for now just understand that renal thyroiditis is associated with ig4 related diseases which includes uh, retroperitoneal fibrosis or the mediastinal fibrosis okay so now i told you that there is extensive fibrosis of the thyroid gland so because of this extensive fibrosis of the thyroid gland the thyroid gland as a has a hard hard or woody feel has a hard or woody feel and this is a very characteristic feature of leader's thyroiditis that the thyroid has a hard and a woody feel and you know because of the extensive fibrosis and this fibrosis involving the surrounding structures and the thyroid gland itself having a hard and a woody feel can we say that it mimics all the features of a malignancy Yes we can say that because malignancy has all those features like being fibrotic and involving the surrounding structure so it mimics malignancy now the question comes in our mind which malignancy which is a very important mcq the malignancy which it mimics is anaplastic thyroid carcinoma anaplastic thyroid carcinoma so that is why when i will be dealing in my next session of the thyroid disorders when i'll tell you anaplastic thyroid carcinoma then one of the differential diagnosis of anaplastic thyroid carcinoma will be redel's thyroiditis okay understood so now if you look at this picture can you see all these pink areas these pink 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 there is so much of the pink pink areas what are these pink areas then these pink areas are actually the hyaluronized hyaluronized fibrous tissue so what has happened this hyaluronized fibrous tissue along with these blue blue lymphocytes they have replaced the affected thyroid parenchyma so there are no follicles nothing to be seen just the fibrosis just the pink pink area so this is what you see in a typical case of a redel's thyroiditis